Welcome back everybody. Heat number twos are starting and this is the Cadet Nines Ipswich Car Club round number two. Short course will be taken. Masiko from the front with Cooper alongside. Santin on the second row. And Sittelin alongside him. Behind them, Sell, Crawford and Lima Surier, I think is starting from the back. Back row for Lima Surier with Cooper Craw with Crawford, I think. As they all come down the line, do we go green light racing? Yes, we do. To the kick they go. It looks like Cooper just breezes through to the front. He had dramas in heat one, remember? Can he put it all together in heat two? Santin's gone with him. Through the flip flop. Cooper, oh, backwards comes for Seiko. Big drama for the 21. Bouncing up and down that seat to get it going again. Indeed he does. And he's underway once more. But up towards Patrice, it's come. Cooper, Santin, Sittelin's right there with them. Down they go into DTE for the first flying lap. Cooper hanging on. Winner from Heat One, remember, Santin right with him. Sittelin not giving up, selling fourth as they go down into Howard's for the first flyer. Big wide line there from Santin. Not sure what he was doing out there. He would have hit the marbles. Through 12 and 13 they come. Cooper, temper sponsored driver, holding on to the front. Through he goes, through the kink, into two, onto three. Don't count out Lima Surier just yet. He's shown some real pace in the first one. Cooper goes through, Santin, Sittelin, Sell. Then Basilio McKayley, right there with Sell and really looking on the back of him. Lima Surier might take some opportunities here while these two battle up the inside of Sell. Through he goes. McKayley's taking that scalp and on his way down to DTE. He's up to fourth and holding on. Crawford goes past. Little Cooper Crawford, the P plater, down he goes into DTE. Into the speed bowl, now he goes, and then up towards us. The Patrices, back with the leaders though, already gone through the kink. Back towards us they come, through two, on to three. Heading towards the one fixed plumbing flip flop and Santin. He's really got the bit between his teeth now. He is right there with Cooper. Sittelin has not been dropped either. It's a three way at the front. Sell's gone back up one. He's got back to four. He's in a ding dong. Sell is not giving up. Look at Jordan go with the Warwick driver. He is on it still and not giving that spot up lightly. Down they come to DTE. Masiko still trying to catch them all. Down the back straight they go. Look at Santin closing in on Cooper. Santin looks like he's got some real pace in that cart. Big slide from Cooper there on the middle of Howard's hairpin. That's allowed Santin to really close up through 12 and 13. He is right there with him. Looks at going alongside. Does he go through? Yes, he does. Santin to the front. New leader. Jake Santin to the front. Cooper slots in behind him. Sittelin's there too. He's watching on to see what goes on between these front two. Three laps completed, seven to go. Cooper leans hard left out of the speed bowl, trying to squeeze everything out of that cart. Down to DT. Santin's having a long look over the shoulder. Through DTE, onto the back straight. Now they'll get the heads down. Santin though looks over the shoulder first to see how close he is. Does Cooper have the run? Yes, he does. Breezes through on the inside. Holds in and parks it. But Santin gives as good as he's got and gets it back at 12. On to 13 and down the start finish race, side by side. Into the kink. Oh, Cooper had to take to the curb. Couldn't quite make that stick and they both slide in two. Round they come then, through the flip-flop. Santin back to the front from Cooper, Sittelin. And now this threes them, are still on it. Sell, McKayley and Lima Surier still going at it. Through the speed bowl they go. Can Sell go up that one again? McKayley's gone through and he's hanging on at the moment. Back with the leading trio. 
Nothing but, oh, Sitterlin on the inside. He's gone through a DTE. Sitterlin, he's gone through the second. Side by side, all the way down the back straight. And Cooper breezes through the second yet again. It is on for young and old in the front. And they're very quickly going to get in amongst back markers. Blue flag is waving. Santin, through he goes into the king from Cooper, from Sitterlin. Sitterlin, though, he is on it and on it really well. Through the flip flop they come. Through goes Crawford. Now the leading three. Santin, Cooper, Sitterlin. Then it's McKayley, Sell, Limus in the air. Masico still trying to catch up as they come through the speed bowl. Back up towards us at Patrizes. Still Santin hanging on. This will be the six lap completed. And I'll tell you what, McKayley is catching them. While they swap battling paint, McKayley has very nearly bridged that gap. Cooper on the inside, third to first. Cooper back to the front. He's breezed through to the front as Cooper. Goodness me, what a move. He just took the opportunity and went crawl. Oh, look at the lead. How did that happen? Cooper absolutely smoked the back straight and breezes to the front. Back towards us in the flip-flop. It's still Cooper, Santin, now McKayley and Sell. Sitterlin's gone back four. What happened to Sitterlin? Unbelievable stuff. Up towards Patrice as they come. White flag is still three laps away. There's a long time to go yet in this one. Cooper from Santin. McKayley's now really catching. Can McKayley do it all in these last three laps? He's dragging the Warwick boy, Jordan Sell, all the way. Well, look at Sell. Oh, they touched. Oh, and he goes alongside. McKayley's not giving it up. Jordan just touched the back of him, nearly turned him round, gets it back up to pace. We're having a seven lap final, a seven lap heat too, I didn't know, sorry. I thought that was 10 laps. It was Cooper that won it, Santin second, McKayley third, Sell fourth, Limassurier fifth, Sitterlin sixth, Masico seventh, and Crawford eighth.